biggest advent in my life right now is expecting another child. It is such a time of waiting to wait nine whole months to meet this new child that we've added to our family, uh, a very much expected waiting. Um, and it's a time where I realize I have this gift in my hand, probably the best gift ever, and I have to carry it for nine months and I can't open it. Can you imagine? I mean, people struggle to wait to open the gift right in front of them. So it's a time of joy, a time maybe of some fear, um, of some pain during pregnancy and those sleepless nights, but it's a beautiful time when um, we can prepare for having another child in our family. We've been switching around the rooms and getting things ready, praying for them and for our family as we grow. And it's beautiful to be pregnant during Advent because our Holy Family got to go through this. And for them, it was also an, it was an unexpected uh, gift, but one that they rejoiced in and they trusted in the Lord. So I can look at them and learn that even when times are tough, uh, that I have to remember the joy that is set before us. And for us, uh, we have lost three children, sadly, uh, in pregnancy loss. And that is something that I'm nervous about every time I'm pregnant. Um, and so I have to trust in God and trust that even if my levels are going up and down, which they have been, uh, that I can lean into the heartbeat of God, just like my child is comforted by my heartbeat in pregnancy um, and even after they're born, I too can lean in and like the beloved Apostle John, I can lean in and just trust in the heartbeat and in the plan of God. And I'm challenging myself this Advent to really slow down and to study. I can go through my whole pregnancy and not know the development of my child, but if I study, I can find out that right now my baby is almost the size of the palm of my hand, developing a brain, um, moving, even though I'm unaware of that. And so I think that even in our prayer life and our spiritual life, we can forget to study and learn and pray and be aware of God's movements all around us. So as I journey through this Advent, slowly waiting and anticipating uh, for Christmas and Jesus' birth and His coming, uh, and this baby, I am committing to really deepen my prayer life. And I'm thankful to the church in the liturgical season to be able to be reminded to do that.